Greetings, YouTube. As of yesterday, July 21st, 2016, um, I ended my therapy sessions with my therapist, Stephen. And we hadn't really planned on this. We both knew it was coming. We had been, I had spaced out the last few sessions a month apart as opposed to two weeks apart. And it was comfortable and I was okay with it. And the previous session, I had talked about my six word memoir. Now my life belongs to me. And so he's like, well, where do we go from here? And I wasn't sure. So after thinking about it for five weeks, because we actually had a slightly longer gap between the two sessions, I came to the conclusion that uh, I was done. Now, as a wrap up to the session, what he does is he goes back to the first session and the notes he took. And he always asks some of the same questions of his new clients. And then he compares the position that you started in with the position you're in. And it was interesting to see that snapshot because in some ways I didn't even remember what I said. Because I was in therapy for five years. Now, here's the weird part. It was my decision. And I had no memory of when I started. If you'd asked me, I would have said I was in therapy for three years, but I was in for five. And I began my therapy on July 21st. So I was in therapy to the day for five years. Both of us thought that was kind of weird. We got a smile out of that. Now I'm not saying I'll ever return. I may have things that happen in my life that require me to go back and get a little tune up. I could see the fact, you know, maybe a year from now, I need to go back for a couple of sessions. And he said, I own a castle because it's the building he lives in. He works in another his castle. He says, I'm not going anywhere. He said, this is a relationship. And then he told me, he says, he said, I love all my patients. He says, but I have never had one who worked so hard. And I don't think he was putting a shine on there. And he said that I work between the sessions harder than any of his other patients. I have my little three by five cards and I would write notes down. I would think about what we had talked about. I would think about the new way of thinking, the tools that Stephen had given me through cognitive behavior therapy, helped me see the world in a different way than I used to see it. Deconstructing everything I did, not obsessively, because it made my life simpler and easier to breathe. Because it gave me more space inside my head, more light, more light, less anxiety, less depression, less stress. Things became less and less important. And if you'll pardon the vulgarity, there were certain stressors in my life that had always been, been there and always been very unpleasant. And as time went on, I realized I had no more fucks to give. I just didn't care about them anymore. That the power they had over me was gone. And the really amazing thing is every time I thought I would reach a certain level, I said, okay, I've reached the maximum of no more fucks to give. I would find I have even less. As these things would have less and less control over my life. Until they had no control at all. So it was pretty darn cool to walk out of there for the last time, knowing that I'm a better, happier, healthier person today than I was five years ago. So all things come to an end. Sometimes it's a happy end.